Okay then gang, in this lesson I want to talk about something called subagents which are really cool and they allow you to basically create a whole team working on your project where each subagent can have a different area of expertise, they can be isolated and configured to work on certain tasks. For example, we could make a unit test agent whose expertise and function would be to really hone in on writing and running tests. Or we could make a subagent who specializes in security audits. We could make a UX reviewer who specializes in providing feedback for new components by viewing them in a browser, etc. Now, each of these subagents all run independently from each other. They have their own system prompts, tools they're allowed to run, and their own context window. So they're a really good way of isolating certain workflows and tasks. And what's really cool is that Claude Code can delegate tasks to them when it needs to. So you can kind of think of Claude Code as being maybe a senior developer working on tasks who then instructs these subagents to carry out certain work. And one of the main benefits of working this way is that each subagent has a specialized expertise which we can fine tune to excel in a particular area through detail system prompts. Also, because each subagent has their own isolated context window, it keeps their context clean and focused, leading to, I think, better results a lot of the time. And it also means the main thread stays cleaner and trimmer if we do this correctly, because we're delegating tasks to those subagents. So it reduces the context overload in your main session. So then in this lesson, we're gonna make a subagent who can use the Playwright MCP server to preview and review the UI and UX of new components once they've been made. And the workflow is gonna look something like this. We're gonna use the custom slash command to tell Claude Code to make a new UI component for us. Inside that command, we're gonna add an instruction telling it to invoke the UX reviewer subagent to review its work after it's made code edits. That subagent's gonna use Playwright to open a browser and look at the component from a UX perspective. Then it's gonna provide feedback to the main thread on Claude Code, which will make edits to the component based on that feedback. If needed, it can ask the UX reviewer again to review the code or review the a component in a browser and provide more feedback until eventually everyone's happy and the component is finished. So let's give this a whirl. So then let's start by making a new subagent, which we can do by coming into the Claude Code chat session and using a command which is forward slash agents. Now when we do that, we're going to see a list of agents you've already created. Now we've not created any, so we can make one by selecting this create new agent option. Once we've done that, we can choose a scope for this new agent, either project or personal. I'm going to select the project scope so that anyone working on this project can use the subagent. Then we're going to get two options. You can get Claude to generate one for you, or you can manually make one from scratch. Now, what I'd like to do is have Claude make one for me, then just change it where I see fit. So let's select that first option, and then we're asked to describe what this agent should do and when it should be used. And I'm just going to paste in a summary of this agent now, which says expert UI and UX engineer who reviews the UI and UX of React components in a browser using Playwright, takes screenshots, then offers feedback on how to improve the component in terms of visual design, user experience and accessibility. So then I'm going to hit enter and Claude Code's going to go ahead and make this new agent for us. Now, at some point, it's going to ask you what tools you want to provide your agent with. And the default option is to allow all tools. But I'm going to unselect the edit tools because I don't want to give the agent the power to edit files. I only want it to review the components and offer feedback. It's also going to ask you which AI mode you want to use for the sub agent. And I'm going to select the Sonic 4 model. Then it's going to ask you what color you want the subagent to use when it's providing updates in the terminal. I'm going to go for the purple color. You choose whatever you want. And then finally, it's going to give you a summary of the agent it's making, which you can confirm by pressing enter. Okay, so we can see that now we have this project agent called UI-UX-Reviewer that uses the Sonic model. Let's close this off, and if we open up this file tree, we should see inside the Claude folder an agents folder with this markdown file for the agent. So we've got some front matter at the top, which is the name of the agent, a description, and then down here, the tools that it's allowed to use. Now it's added the Playwright one right here, or a few of the Playwright tools rather, because we specifically said in the summary we wanted to use Playwright. The model and the color, then a bit of a description down here. Then we've got the actual workflow. So the setup, the visual documentation, how to analyze, 
uh, some testing methodology. We're not going to read all this, but essentially it's created this for us. And the job of this agent now is to review components using the Playwright MCP in a browser. And you can edit this, by the way, if you want to. It's basically like a gigantic prompt for the subagent, which gets used when the subagent gets invoked. So by all means, go through this and just edit anything that you don't agree with or any additional information that you want to add, just add it. Okay, so now we've got this subagent created, we can go back to the custom UI component command we created earlier in the course. And remember this command instructs Claude Code to make a new UI component based on certain criteria. And now at the end, I'm going to paste in one final instruction, which tells Claude to invoke the new sub agent we just created and ask it for feedback. Once it has that feedback, it should implement it by updating the component. And then finally, if it needs to, it can ask for another review and more feedback. So then now everything is kind of set up and ready to go. So let's give this a shot. And remember, we need to exit out of Claude code first of all, because we just made a change to this command. And then we're going to start the session back up again. All right, then. So let's use the UI component tool. If I can spell it, components, like so. And then the component name is going to be modal. And I'm going to say, make a clean, modern looking modal, which also has a semi transparent backdrop. All right, so press enter. All right, and we can see already that it has a little to-do list that it's going to work on. And right at the bottom down here, it's going to say, review the component with the UI uh, hyphen UX hyphen reviewer agent. So that's the final step. Okay, so it wants to do something. Yep, we'll allow that. And I'm going to allow for the rest of the session. Okay, so now you can see it's invoked this UI UX reviewer and that reviewer wants to open up a browser. Now, in order to do that, it wants to start the dev server. So I'm going to let it do that. And now it wants to navigate to the preview page, which is where Claude Code added that component to when it created it. So let's allow it to do this. And now on my other screen, I can see it's opened up the browser. It's over here, you can see, all right. And it's asking me for permission to take a screenshot. Yes, I'm going to allow it to do that. So something else you can do through Playwright is click elements on a page. And now it's asking for permission to do that. So we'll say yes. And this is taking a long time, by the way, because there's so many different variants that Claude Code created for this modal. There's about seven or eight different things it needs to do on the web page to test everything. All right, and now it wants to resize the browser width. So it's even testing for smaller device screens, which is really nice. So I'm going to allow it to do that. All right, so eventually it finished its review process. And you can see now it's made some additional edits. And these are all the features it's implemented. So we've got the color variants. We've got the different sizes. We've made sure it's good for accessibility. Uh, we've got these different interactions, so we can close via the cross button, escape key, or the backdrop click. Um, these are the files created for the modal and the test. And then it's updated the page, the preview page right here, to have interactive demos. So it says right here, the UI UX reviewer gave it a five out of five stars and marked it production ready. Well, that is really good. So it obviously did a good job of making these components. So now let's view these in a browser. All right, so I'm just on the preview page and I've scrolled all the way down to the modal components. So we've got buttons here to open the modals. So I could click on primary and yeah, that looks pretty good. So we can close it via the cross or clicking over here. I'm going to try the secondary one and then press escape. Yeah, that closes it. Confirm. All right. And then we'll click on cancel. And then finally, we'll click on the cross. So we've got these different variants, which is really nice, different sizes. So that's small, uh, medium. I think that's a little bigger, large. Yeah, a little bit bigger again. All right. So these are the features it's implemented. So that's nice. It's kind of documented it for me as well. So these are actually using, I think, the card component because the card components are up here. So, you know, like I said earlier on in the series that Claude Code 
does get a little bit giddy sometimes. It likes to use the work it's done elsewhere in the application. So I think this is just an example of that. It's reusing the card component to tell me about this modal component it just created. So kudos, that's very nice. Anyway, all looks pretty good. Maybe I would make some tweaks here and there, but I think it's done a good job of creating and also testing this component in the browser. And one more thing really quickly, just because we've made a sub agent to automate the review process, it doesn't mean you shouldn't review the work yourself, both in the browser and in the code. This is something I think is really important and something I always do to stay in the loop because even though everything looks okay in the browser, it doesn't mean it's coded correctly and you might find something you don't like. Also, if you're not looking over the code that Claude produces, you're gonna find yourself out of the loop very quickly and find it harder to navigate the code base in the future when you do need to dig into the weeds.